No blocks. The key ingredient to making melodies in Minecraft. I recently got something in mind that was regarding these note blocks and it got me curious. How loud can you get vanilla Minecraft note blocks? And I don't just mean like, oh, you make a mod pack to increase the volume, make it sound like you're at some sort of rock concert. No. I'm talking about how loud you can get no blocks just in general. And that's what I'm going to be finding out in today's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoyed today's content and want to see more of this kind of stuff, then subscribe, turn on notifications, and if you liked today's video, hit the like button down below. And if you want to tell me anything about no blocks that you have, no, I might not even know, put a comment down below. Tell me about some stuff. Educate me. But without further ado, let's get into the video. To start things off, I think we just need to take a single note block and place it down and see how it sounds. My jute blocks and note blocks are at max. This is the maximum volume I'll get for this. So there's no difference from what it will be if I was to do this. So let's just place one down and see how it sounds. Pretty generic, pretty modest, not too loud though. So let's kink, the let's kink. <laughs> what am I saying? Let's kick things up a notch. And this right here is eight note blocks. Which is pretty damn strong compared to this one. Cow, get out of the way, I'm recording. Yeah, you huff me again. I dare you. I dare you. Go on, dare you. I don't no, no, fuck no. with you. Yeah, that's what I thought. But for reference, this right here is one. And this, this is just eight. How far can we really push this is the question. I don't know, so let's add more. Okay, I think I'm starting to get to the point where I'm just realizing how big of a problem this is gonna become. This is 20 note blocks. This right here is one. This right here was the 8 one we just did. This is 20! I am too curious to understand how this is going to sound, so I would recommend headphone users watch new ears, because I don't know how it's going to sound. I've not done this yet, so headphone warn just in case. What the? That's already that's right loud. This is, can you see? This is, this is just 20! We can go so much further than this. Now, I feel like we should kick it up a notch again, because 20 is nice. 20 is really nice. Like, this is, this is really loud, but... We can go so much farther than this. Like, so much farther. So you guys remember this one, right? This cutesy thing right here? Well, take a look at that. This one right here is 79 note blocks. We went from 1 to 8 to 20 to 78. The numbers are starting to climb a little bit. Now, for reference, bear in mind, this was 20, okay? And this is 78. That's quite, that's quite the hum. But trust me, when I say we're just scratching the surface, I mean we are just at the tip of the iceberg. For instance, allow me to jump cut to when I get something amazingly like, built right behind me. Oh my god. Um, about that jump cut? Uh, let's, can we just ignore that? Because I may have had a slight snag of a bit of explosives on accident. Right, now as you can see, I have cleared this massive area, and it's going to be used, trust me, this right here, it has a purpose, it's not just for nothing, okay? Right below me, I have got two command blocks, and these command blocks do two things, one of which will fill this area with redstone blocks, the other of which will clear them. Now you may be wondering, what is that supposed to do with no blocks? Well, let me show you. You guys don't know, but I've got two more sitting right here underneath the snow patch, and if I take a lever, you shall see that if I hit this switch, no blocks will spawn all above the platform where the redstone is. If I do this, it'll just clear it. You can probably see where I'm going with this, and I have an idea what how this can work. If I TP myself directly to the center of this area, go up a few blocks and make a small platform, I then take four command blocks and place them like so, and then paste the commands in to fill in the area of redstone. As you can see now, I have got four pressure plates with four command blocks underneath them. Each of them are basically their own unique aspects, but they're just duplicates of the ones over there. And so, if I summon every single node block in this area, and then proceed to walk onto this specific pressure plate right here, you'll just have to see what happens, because I actually don't know what's gonna happen. I've not test of this. Let's just do this. Ah, it's scared! Whoa. Oh my god. That was loud. I don't know if it came up in the video, but that was loud. The thing is though, we're not done yet. We can take this one step further. But Moth, how will you do that? You run out of space for building the note blocks. Well, there's still one place we haven't gone yet. Okay, I've been doing a good bit of work. This place looks like it's not been touched or just changed at all since the last time I showed you it. However, that is not the case for this because, well, you'll just have to see for yourself. Because if I just walk right to the edge of this place, 
This goes for quite a while. I don't even know how many note blocks this is at this point. Uh, it goes down for so far. Like, look at this. And you may be wondering, Moth, how are you going to activate this whole thing? Well, you can probably see this system behind me. All the command blocks on this side right here are going to place redstone blocks under each and every one of these node blocks. And this side's just for removing the redstone, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the sounds. And so I've got a command right here that is going to fill this entire section up, or at least the area the areas on the areas underneath the note blocks with redstone blocks. So how's about we get inspector mode and get right in the middle of this thing? Now I do apologize for the lack of lighting. Editing Moth is probably gonna just increase the lighting for the sake of the video, but I can't do anything about it right now. It's too dark, and if I place stuff above the red note blocks, it's just gonna go haywire. It's just not gonna work. So without further ado, let's see what this does. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh my! Ow! That hurt my eardrums. Like. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Okay, that right there hurt my eardrums. I okay, I'm getting I'm getting back to Grimo forward. I did not expect that. I I had a good feeling it was gonna be loud, but that was absurd. Like, look at this. I think I don't I, I don't know, but I, this is just insane. Like look at this man. It's mad. Well then, I think we figured out the answer to how that we can get sounds of Minecraft. If you guys like today's video and want to see more of it, then I recommend you hit the subscribe button down below because. I mean, I can blow your eardrums out again if you want. But if you do like my content and want to see updated with it, then subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the like button if you liked today's video, and comment down below if you got your eardrums burst as well, because my eardrums are burst as hell. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.